Hello students, today we will learn depth buffer method. This method is used for detecting visible surfaces. It is based on image space approach. In image space approach, we compare pixel values to each other to decide the visibility of the pixels. Image space approach में हम pixels को आपस में compare करके उनकी visibility decide करते हैं. In this method, we use the depth values of the pixels to decide their visibility. इस method में हम पिक्सल्स की डेप्थ वैल्यू को यूज करते हैं उनकी विजिबिलिटी डिसाइड करने के लिए दैट्स व्हाई दिस मेथड इज कॉल्ड डेप्थ बफर मेथड दिस मेथड इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज जेड बफर मेथड बिकॉज वी यूज वैल्यू ऑफ जेड कोऑर्डिनेट एक्सिस एज द डेप्थ ऑफ द पिक्सल्स इस मेथड को जेड बफर मेथड भी कहते हैं क्योंकि हम जेड कोऑर्डिनेट एक्सिस के वैल्यू को यूज करते हैं एज द डेप्थ ऑफ द पिक्सल नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द फिगर in which there are three surfaces s1 s2 and s3 and all the three surfaces have a point whose projected point on display screen is same that is x y on the display screen okay to yahan pe question ye uthta hai ki jo x y point hai display screen mein wo kis pixel ko represent karega s1 surface ke s2 surface ke ya s3 surface ke and this is decided by the depth of the surfaces or the depth of the pixels in this figure you can see that s3 surface is closer to xy plane as compared to s1 and s3 therefore the xy point on display screen will represent the pixels of s3 surface and this is decided on the basis of the depth of the pixel okay now let's see the depth buffer algorithm in this algorithm we are using two buffers one is depth buffer and other is refresh buffer in depth buffer we are storing the depth of the pixels and in refresh buffer we are storing the intensity of the pixels these two buffers are represented as two dimensional array ye dono buffer two dimensional array ke roop mein use ho rahe hain depth buffer mein hum pixels ki depth value ko store kar rahe hain aur refresh buffer mein hum pixels ki intensity ko store kar rahe hain initially the depth of all the pixel is zero and the intensity is set to the background color of the xy plane in the second point for each position on each polygon surface compare depth values to previously stored values in the depth buffer to determine visibility second step jo hai ye har ek polygon surface ke liye apply karna hai one by one if there are n polygon surfaces in the picture we have to apply the second step for every polygon surface one by one for the first polygon then second polygon and so on till the last polygon in step number 2 what we are doing that for a particular surface we are calculating the depth of each point on the surface and the depth value is compared with the previously calculated depth to decide that the previously calculated depth is smaller or the current depth is smaller and accordingly we have to update the depth and refresh buffer if the newly calculated depth is smaller than the previously stored depth then we have to update the depth and refresh buffer the depth buffer now becomes the depth of the newly calculated depth and the intensity of the newly calculated pixel is now set to the refresh buffer and after completing the step number 2 we now have find out the pixels that has to be displayed on the screen those pixels are now stored in depth buffer and their intensity is now stored in refresh buffer okay so this is the depth buffer algorithm now the how we can calculate the depth value the question arises if we are comparing depth values of the pixel to decide the visibility but how we can calculate the depth values of the pixels now we know that the equation of the plane as ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 ye equation of plane hai jahan pe a b c and d are constants for the plane now there are three situations now the first situation is that the polygon as is parallel to the x axis this is the first situation jahan pe polygon ki jo edge hai wo x axis ke parallel hai 
सेकेंड सिचुएशन आएगी पॉनिगन की जो एज है वो वाई एक्सिस के पैनल है और थर्ड सिचुएशन वेर द पॉनिगन एज इज नाइदर पैनल टू एक्स एक्सिस और वाई एक्सिस इन तीनों स्नेरियो में हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द डेप्थ ऑफ द पिक्सन दैट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द जेड कोऑर्डिनेट एक्सिस नाउ लेट्स सी द फर्स्ट स्नेरियो इन विच द पॉनिगन एज इज पैनल टू एक्स एक्सिस इफ यू लुक एट द फिगर सपोज We have calculated the depth at position x y. हमने x y position पे depth calculate कर दिया. And now the next point is x plus one y because the edge is parallel to x axis. So next picture is incremented by one along the x axis. That is x plus one and y remains the same. Now how we can calculate the z coordinate value? This is given in equation number one. And this equation comes from the equation of the plane, where z is equal to minus ax minus by minus d upon c. Now, put the coordinate value of the new point in this equation, and the coordinate value of new point is x plus one comma y. So this equation now becomes, and the new depth is z dash. So z dash now becomes minus ax plus one minus by minus d upon c. And after simplification, we get z dash is equal to z minus a by c. So, from the previous depth value, we can calculate the next depth value. If we have the x y position of depth value, then we can x plus one comma y position of depth value. And the formula is z dash is equal to z minus a by c. Here, minus a by c is constant because it is a constant and c is constant. In this way. We can calculate the new depth value by using the previous depth value. Okay. Now the next situation is where the polygon edge is parallel to y-axis. If the polygon edge is parallel to y-axis, then the y coordinate will not be changed. Sorry, x coordinate will not be changed, and the y coordinate will be one value decrement. So the new coordinate value becomes y minus one. So we have to now calculate the depth at position x comma y minus one. So the same logic. So we have to compute depth at point x comma y minus one, and now put this point in the equation number one, and this becomes z dash is equal to minus a x minus b y minus one minus d upon c. And after simplification, the equation becomes z dash is equal to z plus b by c, where b by c is constant. Here also we can calculate the new depth value from the previous depth value. अगर हमारे पास x y पे depth value हमें पता है, तो हम x y minus one पे भी हम depth value calculate कर सकते हैं using the formula z dash is equal to z plus b by c. Now the third situation is where the polygon edge is not parallel to x or y axis. Okay? So now We are decrementing the value of y by one, and now we have to calculate the x dash. Okay, so we know the value of depth at x y, and we have to compute the depth at x dash comma y minus one. So y के next value क्या है? Y minus one और x हमें calculate करना है. So we can calculate x dash using equal to x minus one by m, where m is the slope of s. तो आप स्लोप का इक्वेशन यूज कर सकते हैं वाई टू माइनस वाई वन अपॉन एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू एम ओके तो यहाँ पे वाई टू है आपका वाई माइनस वन वाई वन है वाई एक्स टू है एक्स डैस और माइनस एक्स वन एक्स वन है आपका एक्स इक्वल टू एम करेंगे और इक्वेशन को सॉल्व करेंगे तो यू गेट एक्स डैस इज इक्वल टू एक्स माइनस वन बाई एम ओके तो बाई यूजिंग द स्लोप ऑफ द नाइन यू कैन Calculate x dash. Now we have calculated x dash, and we know y minus one. So x dash y minus one for the depth will be using the equation number one. Z dash now becomes z plus a by m plus b upon c. Or this value is also a by m plus b upon c is constant because a is constant, b is constant, c is constant, and m the slope of the line is also constant. Using this equation, you can find out the depth at 
x dash comma y minus 1. So, three situations are where first situation is the polygon edge is parallel to x axis, second is polygon edge is parallel to y axis and third is the polygon edge is neither parallel to x or y axis. And in three case, we have previously calculated depth value say. We can calculate next depth value. Calculate kar sakte hai. Okay? Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages of this method? The advantage is it is simple to use, okay? can be implemented easily in space measures and can be executed quickly even with many polygons. So, this is the advantage of this method. Ki we can simple, it is simple to use as image space measures we easily implement kar sakte hai, or this can be equivalent to if the picture can contain multiple polygons. But there are some disadvantage takes up lot of memory because we are using two buffers, depth buffer and refresh buffer and these two buffers are implemented as two dimensional array and as the resolution of the screen is increasing then the size of the depth and refresh buffer will also be increased. Therefore, this method requires a lot of memory. Second disadvantage is can, cannot do transparent surfaces without additional code. So, this is the major disadvantage that the transparent surfaces are distinguished in the Means this method is applied only when the, all the polygon surfaces are opaque in nature. If the polygon surfaces have transparent, then this method cannot be applicable. Sare polygon surfaces are opaque in nature. If there is a little bit of transparency, hai, we cannot use this method, we have to modify this method, then only we can use that method. So, this is the biggest disadvantage that it is applicable only for the polygon surfaces which are opaque. Okay. Hope you will be able to understand the depth buffer method and its algorithm. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.